There is a Disney character that I had never actually heard of until watching this episode of DuckTales, and that character is Flintheart Glomgold. And he seems to be quite a widely used character within the realm of DuckTales. So I'm interested to get to know more about him, and certainly that means that there was an element of Treasure of the Golden Sun's Wrong Way in Wrong Way that did appeal to me. Wrong Way in Wrong Way is the second episode of the first season of DuckTales. It's also the second episode of the Treasure of the Golden Sun's I think a five part series and I don't think this one was, ex was exciting as the first part but I do love Huey, Dewey and Louie so it, it was definitely something that I enjoyed to a degree. It's directed by Steve Clark, aired originally in February 1989 and there may be spoilers in this one for the previous episode but I'm not going to spoil this particular episode but Huey, Dewey and Louie along with Scrooge, um, Scrooge McDuck of course go on a, a journey to, to South America and they are trying to find um, this gold and Flintheart Glumgold, which is a brilliant name, is also trying to track down this gold and it's a race against time for who's going to get there first and there are various obstacles that they encounter along the way. I feel like Flintheart Glumgold is such a brilliant character and he definitely made this quite fascinating for me. I was curious to know more about him. I loved it really loved it when he interacted with Scrooge McDuck. I thought he was an absolute delight to, to listen to. He's voiced by Hal Smith. Scrooge McDuck is voiced by Alan Young. And I particularly found him interesting. If he hadn't been in this, I might have liked it a little bit less. For me, I feel like he is quite prevalent to this narrative. Was I interested in who would get there first and what would happen when they followed this map? Yes and no. I mean, I was interested enough to find out, but at the same time, I wasn't, you know, emotionally invested rooting for the right team or anything. But I do love listening to Huey, Julie and Louie. I absolutely love their voices. In this particular cartoon, they're actually voiced by uh, Rossi Taylor, who um, also voiced Minnie Mouse, which, you know, if you said the voice of Minnie Mouse is also the voice of Huey, Dewey and Louie, that's some talented voice acting right there. We also have Jim Cummings voicing El Capitan and Chuck McCann voicing Burger Beagle and Duckworth. I'm not that invested in this Treasures of the Golden Sun series. The fact that there are three more episodes means that I'm kind of not ready to binge watch DuckTales yet because I'm not that interested in the narrative, the overarching narrative. Not yet, but we'll see how it goes with the third episode. It's just weird that they started the series off with this five-parter. But certainly, in isolation, on its own, Wrong Way and Wrong Way may not have been as good as the previous episode, but I did like it. I'm glad it's introduced me to Flintheart Glomgold. And I love Huey, Dewey and Louie and Scrooge McDuck as well. So... I don't know, there were elements of this that I liked a lot. I'm not desperate to watch the third episode immediately. But at the same time, I feel like I might watch it sooner rather than later. Wrong Way and Wrong Way definitely has its benefits. 